Uh, hey everybody, this is Craig from the Trashy Fire Pit. I'm gonna show you how to light a fire in a smokeless fire pit. So if you've got a, a solo bonfire or a brio, or if you're doing the, the trashy thing like me with your trashy fire pit, um, this is, I think, the best way to light a fire in a smokeless fire pit. All right, so this is the first burn on this uh, trashy fire pit. So I've got all this shiny galvanization in there and that's all gonna melt off. So in this first burn, while it's getting good and hot, I'm gonna stand back, probably go inside or stand you know, several feet away for at least an hour, probably an hour and a half. And eventually I'll start to see this coating melt off the top of the rim. And that's when I know it's, it's probably done. You know, once this is melting off, that probably means the rest of it's melted off. All right, so I'm gonna take a couple chunks of two by four here, and they're just gonna be basically a, a brace um, for the other sticks that are gonna go in. I'll put fire starter, right next to each of them, just like that. And now I'll just kind of put some sticks across the top, just like that. So I'm just using the, um, those, those two by fours is just kind of like a, a brace. All right, so should be plenty of air getting in under there with those two. Also, there's a ridge in the bottom of this, which actually helps airflow. Um, and then those fire, fire stars are gonna do great. So I'm gonna light this first before I start putting on some of these, you know, medium-sized sticks from the forest. Um, and once those are good and hot, that's when I'm gonna put my, you know, full-size firewood on. There we go. All right, so that's gonna start heating up and you can see there's smoke at first. You know, these are sticks from the forest. It was raining this morning, so these aren't perfectly dry, but they're gonna start burning up and get hot. And once they get hot enough, then I'm gonna come back and put this kind of medium sized firewood on there. So I'm gonna give this, you know, five, 10 minutes um, and then come back and put the rest on. All right, it's only been about um, two minutes, two or three minutes, but it's already, you know, plenty hot, nice, good flames. Those sticks are good and on. So I'm gonna start adding the medium sized firewood now. wasn't perfect, but you know, it was hot enough that <clears throat> I think those are going to light up just fine. So I'm going to give this another, you know, probably five, 10 minutes and I'll come back out. So you can see when you're first lighting, you're going to have some smoke and you can see it right there. You know, a smokeless fire pit is just like any other fire pit until you get that secondary combustion. So in the early, you know, parts of your fire, uh, it's kind of tough to see, but there's some smoke coming off there. Um, maybe less than if it was just a hole in the ground because you got good oxygen at the bottom, but uh, you still have a little bit of smoke coming off. All right, um, this has been going about 10 minutes since I first lit it, uh, and then maybe another five since I put those kind of medium sized sticks in there. So that's a pretty good bed of coals. Uh, so I think I'm ready to go ahead and put my full size firewood on top. All, All right, right, let's grab these three pieces. I'm just gonna do a kind of a pseudo teepee here. Maybe the TV's a little lopsided, but that's okay. All right, so I got my hot bed of coals. I just put some full-size firewood on there, and I think that's going to get really nice and hot. And in probably another 10 minutes or so, we'll get that secondary convection and, or excuse me, secondary combustion, and we'll start to see some flames coming off the the edge there. All right, I'm about 18 minutes into. Um, this first burn on the trashy fire pit that's the big trashy right there and um, i'm getting kind of some black smoke um, you know it's real hot in there there's pretty good flames good basic holes so normally this is when you start to see good secondary combustion and we're seeing a little bit but on the first burn you're going to see this black smoke because that's the the zinc coating coming off the inside um, so if you're seeing that keep your distance keep downwind um, or upwind i should say and um you know, again, I, I like to say at least an hour, maybe, you know, hour and a half to two hours to be safe. Um, but if you're seeing that black smoke, that's the that's the inside galvanization melting off, basically. All right, my fire's been going about 20 minutes. I got a few big lugs on there. It's really tough to see the secondary combustion in the daytime, but you'll start to see the flames are kind of licking off the lips like this. I'll, I'll get a good shot at night and you'll be able to see a little better, but. 
you'll see on the sides there you'll just see these flames kind of coming off the sides kind of licking right off there um, right just like over there and that's how you know you've got that you know you've got cold air coming in the channel going up you know here and then shooting out that hot it becomes hot and it shoots out and mixes with the smoke so about 20 minutes um, depending on what you got going on could be a few minutes less could be a few minutes more about 20 minutes or so to get that secondary combustion and have a really nice fire okay isn't that awesome tell me that's not awesome isn't that pretty cool